Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about the Arnold Ray visibility options. And once we install the plugin, we have a new tab that gets added to every single object. And it is called Arnold and it has a lot of uh, new tabs as well. And the one we're interested in now is, is called visibility. And it has a list of checkboxes and this is where we can turn on and off the visibility of certain geometry for certain types of rays. And I'm going to uh, hide this the uh, this tank. I have two copies. I'm going to use uh, the orange one for now. And I'm going to hit render. And we're going to try and, and see what these options will do um, when we render the tank. So I'm going to turn off visible to camera. And for this to propagate properly, we have to uh, hit the render button again and this will uh, refresh the scene so that this change uh, make it through and we can see now we don't uh, that we don't have we don't see the object anymore we're just getting its reflection and the remaining of the rays here and you can see we can uh, control the if it's either visible to shadow rays, reflected rays, refracted rays, and stuff like that. And this can allow us to do a variety of things. For example, uh, this is one very small use case. Uh, I have two copies of the tank, one uh, with an orange shader and one with a green shader. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this visible to uh, uh, visible to camera and I'm going to uncheck everything else. I'm going to leave receive shadows and self shadows. And on the other tank, the green version, I'm going to go under Arnold and I'm going uh, the Arnold tab and I'm going to uncheck visible to camera rays. So pretty much we have uh, the inverse, but I kept the receive and, and self shadows for both of them because we want them both of them to cast shadows. And then I'm going to go back and hit render. And now what's going to happen is we're going to see the uh, the orange tank being rendered and everything else being used for the uh, every, everything else from the second tank, the green tank, is being used for reflection. And if we have refraction, diffuse and stuff like that, everything else will will use this version here. So this is one quick example. And uh, the next option I want to explain is this mat here. You can see it has this green uh, icon. And the reason for that is because it has an expression that links it to an existing attribute in Houdini, which is under the render settings, and it's called matte shading. So uh, I have an object here. It's a box that is occluding uh, some objects, is occluding half of the tank. And for this box, I'm going to go under the render tab and tick on matte shading. And what this will do, it's going to change this value because there is a, the expression that links both of them. And now if I go to the render view and hit render, we're going to get um, this, the box matting out everything else. And this is how you do, uh, you control the matting option in Arnold. And I think that covers pretty much uh, the basics of the visibility race. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.